Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we are going to see how you can troubleshoot errors in your Pavli Connect workflows. Now suppose guys, you have created an automation workflow in Pavli Connect. And whenever this automation workflow will face an issue, an error, whenever the execution of this workflow will have an error, you will get a notification on your registered email address from Pavli Connect. So here you will see that I have received an email from Pavli Connect which says a quick notice about recent task execution. And in this email, you will get details of the field execution, the field task. So one of my task execution of this workflow, which I have created between Google Sheets and Twilio were field. And for that, here you can see that I have received a notification on my email. Now this email says, hello Parker Devon, basically my name. This email is to notify you that the workflow demo. So we have the name of the workflow. A recent task was not executed due to following error. So we also have the task history ID, the execution task ID basically, that which task was actually failed. Then we have the name of the step where we had the issue. Then also you can see the name of the connection which we have used in this step. And then here you can see the task error details as well. So in this way, while checking the emails notification, you can actually figure out that you have some issues, some problems with your automation workflow. Some of your tasks were not executed properly. They were failed. Now, after identifying the issue that there is the issue, how you can solve it. So here guys, you can see task history ID. Just click on it and in a new tab, you will it will take you to the task history page of that particular workflow. So we have this particular task when we are going to check the history. Here in the drop down, you can see the task was this execution was failed at the Twilio step. And then when you will check the response, you will see what was the actual problem. So the error message, the response message over here says the two number, this number is not a valid phone number. Now, after figuring out the issue, it says the mobile number on which we were supposed to send the SMS message using Twilio is not a valid phone number. Now, after this, we have basically received this mobile number from Google Sheet. So we will go to Google Sheet and here when we will check Google Sheet responses, the data which we have received from Google Sheet in Pavli Connect, you will see we have received a wrong num phone number, an invalid phone number from Google Sheet. And yes, when I checked my Google Sheet, I have noticed that this is the invalid phone number which I have entered by mistake. That is why this automation execution, this workflow execution was failed. So guys, here in this way, we have figured out that what was the actual issue, what was the issue which we are facing while automating our task in our automation workflow inside Public Connect. So in the same way, you can refer to the emails you get for each and every field task execution. You can refer to the emails, you can check your workflow and also the particular task execution as well. You can refer to the response of the application where you have an error. You can refer to the response and figure out that what was the issue you were facing. You can correct it. Either it can be a connection based issue or it can be a data based issue or something else. So here by referring to these error messages, you can actually figure out the issue and solve it. And still, if you are keep on facing the issues, you can obviously write us on forum.pavli.com. Now, suppose we have an issue, we have a problem with the mobile number. Now, by clicking on this re-execute button, here you have an option to re-execute this automation workflow. And if you require some changes, like we have to basically update the mobile number, you can enter the mobile number over here as well and click on this re-execute now button. And then this automation workflow will be re-executed with the data or the details which we have entered over here while re-executing. Now, if we have error, if you have issue with a single or a couple of steps, a couple of task execution, then you can use this re-execute now button. But what if you are facing error with multiple steps, like for example, you have hundreds of steps whose executions are failed and you had some issue with the connection or something like that and you have figured out the issue and solved it. But you again want to re-execute all of these tasks. Now for that guys, if you want to re-execute the task in bulk, you just have to select the task from here. So by clicking here, you can select all the tasks or you can basically one by one select the task and then just click on this re-execute button. By clicking on it, this will re-execute all the tasks in bulk with the updated workflow. So in this way, guys, you can actually figure out the issue that you had some issue, some failure in your automation workflow in Public Connect by the email notification. And you can basically troubleshoot the error as well for your Public Connect automation workflow. So this is it for today's video, guys. If you have any kinds of doubts or queries, you can write us in the comment box below or you can come to us on forum.pabby.com. Thank you. Have a great day.